guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a tour of Internet Explorer Mobile 6 as it appears on an early Windows Mobile 6.5 ROM from XD Developers. Now, obviously, what you see here will be different than what you experience uh, if you were to buy a Windows Mobile 6.5 device later this year, but I thought it would be interesting to kind of give you an idea of what we can expect from the new version of IE6 Mobile, which replaces Pocket Internet Explorer, which everyone hates. So let's take a look here, and I'm going to start off at the uh, main screen here. And I've already got Amazon.com loaded here, and you can actually see a little Flash animation in the bottom right corner because IE6 Mobile supports Flash. Um, so what happens here is that you load up a page, it goes full screen automatically. And then you get a little button in the bottom right corner, which will bring up the kind of um, Mac OS X Leopard-like buttons that, that are kind of docked with a little bit of a shadow underneath them. And all these buttons do some different things, so I'll go through them now. Uh, this one on the right acts as kind of your, your soft key menu, so you can add to favorites, uh, go to your home page, you can flick down to see all the, the other options. And of course we see the finger-friendly Windows Mobile 6.5 menus here, so it makes it a lot easier to use. And we can go to history, and it's a nicer looking interface for history, the scroll bars are a little bit bigger. Um, and let's go back again to see what else we have in that menu. And let's go down to Tools and then Options. The Options screen is a little bit cleaned up. It's still kind of um, text-based. And so if we go to uh, Privacy and Settings, we have a bunch of checkboxes. Uh, it's, it's not guaranteed that when IE Mobile 6 ships, it'll look like this. But uh, right now, that's what we have to deal with. Okay, so let's move along to the other menus. Here we have a zoom slider, and I'm going to show you the zoom functionality in, in a minute. It's actually really, really fast. It doesn't have the animation like you would find in uh, Safari Mobile, Mobile or uh, Opera Mobile 9.5, but it's actually quite fast. In the center here is the keyboard button, which obviously will bring up the keyboard so that you can type in a new web address. Um, here we have the favorites button, which will bring up a nicer looking favorites than we're accustomed to in Pocket Internet Explorer. We can add a favorite, kind of is reminiscent of the Opera Mobile 9.5 interface a little bit. And if we go back once more, here's the action button, so when a page is loading, it will be an X, so you can stop it from loading. And right now it's just a back button. So I told you I'd show you the zoom, so let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to double tap to zoom in works very fast, as you've just seen, and it's actually quite smooth. I'm, I'm quite impressed for an early version of uh, Pocket Internet Explorer Mobile, or Internet Explorer Mobile, I should say. This The scrolling is very smooth. You can tap on um, any link, of course, to go to that link. You can double tap to zoom back out, like so. Or you can use the zoom slider, uh, which doesn't seem very intuitive, having to press another button to get to the zoom slider. And here's the zoom slider, which will kind of just zoom in on the center of the page. So I think the best bet uh, would be just to double tap. And let me show you how other websites look. So I'm going to click the address bar, and I'm going to go to, let me get the address bar up here. All right, let's go to ebay.com. And as you as you type, uh, Internet Explorer 6 Mobile will look up the web address, or kind of actually make it a little shorter for you, so that you don't have to type .com or .net, uh, or things like that. So it saves a little bit of time. Here we are on eBay, and I just want to show you a pretty cool feature that you don't see immediately. When you drag your finger along the screen, you get the, a little box in the bottom left corner. Some other Windows Mobile browsers have that, and it's really helpful to see where you are along the page um, and to be able to find the information that you're looking for. So it's a welcome feature. And of course, we can double tap to zoom back out. So overall, Internet Explorer 6 Mobile for Windows Mobile 6.5, even in this pre-release form, looks quite promising. It seems to be able to rival Opera Mobile 9.5 in its ability to render web pages like they look on a desktop and even brings flash support. And finally, we have finger-friendly buttons for the native browser of Windows Mobile. So that's it for now, and for more Windows Mobile 6.5 news and updates, be sure to check us out at pocketnow.com. That's it for now.